Solar roadways are a concept that we're still discussing and researching and uh, yet to implement in the United States. Uh, but six months ago, this was done in a city near Amsterdam um, where they had turned some of the nation's bike paths into energy generating solar roadways. And how, how does that look six months out? The answer, pretty damn good. Uh, so this is Solar Road, uh, their 70 meter test track near the town of Chromany, please forgive me, that's mispronounced. It's generated over 3,000 kilowatt hours in the first six months of operation. It's not a ton. It's enough to provide a single person household with electricity for one year. So that's 70 kilowatt hours per square meter of solar road per, per year, which is near the upper limit of what they were hoping for in the conceptualization process. So basically it's working pretty darn well. Yeah. Um, so it's just the bike paths right now because the current version can only support uh, vehicles up to 12 metric tons. Most cars are about two metric tons. Uh, but when we look at, you know, a lot of freight trucks, it's not yeah. going to work out. I mean, those Dutch, they're so in intuitive. Oh, they'll, they'll, the Dutch. They'll, they'll bring you some, some good weed cafes if you've ever been to Amsterdam. <laughs> I've never been. And now you need to go. And now they have solar panel bike paths. So they're obviously taking uh, the, the correct measures to make things uh, more enjoyable in their town. And, and mm -hmm. why, what better way? I, I understand it costs a lot. Like, don't get it me wrong. Does. When it comes to solar, people think that it, it just magically happens, this process of, of turning solar panel uh, power uh, into what you can basically use to power a house, as we said. But it does cost a lot of money. Um, if you're not going to get more people to start putting on their roofs, when they technically, they probably should, in terms of a cost-effective way, what better way than put it on a public transport area where you can start generating energy from everyday people riding bikes. Well, for the American version, what we've dreamed of is putting certain uh, LED lights on the road as well to warn people of hazards, yeah. to help guide people to safety. Uh, this is not what's going on the bike path. So we're looking more at energy, um, different alternate ways of getting energy. Yeah. So we do have a 30% reduction in effectiveness because on roofs we, ca we are able to angle the panels toward the sun. We can't do that with the road that messes up the road. Yeah. Uh, but this is, it, it, what their estimate is that these pa uh, roadways would have a lifespan of about 20 to 25 years. The payback time is 15 years. Yeah. So after that point, we're just generating more money um, to build roadways, first of all, roadways in general, but also yeah. to pay for other um, other other projects that we could have, or maybe to build better ones in the future. So this is kind of a chain reaction uh, j from this technology leaping forward. So yes, solar is kind of expensive, uh, but in the but, long run, the big picture, maybe it's a better idea. Well, when you're going to spend billions upon billions to build consistently new buildings that are even taller, start, start producing more smog, like in LA here, half of the days you can't even see downtown LA because of the, all the industrial effect of the consistent drive to build new businesses. Why would you not want to invest in something that isn't going to affect the environment, that's actually going to generate energy in a more uh, conservative way and allow us to be more beneficial in the future? But some, some investors don't see that because they might not get the return directly. So in the long run, I would say this is probably the better choice. It's a little unusual. It is a new idea. It's yeah. a little scary. Um, but I think it's something, it's one of the things that we're just going to have to embrace as we move in a future where we are having um, higher and higher buildings, bigger yeah. carbon footprints. Um, it's harder and more expensive to find energy. But people, especially in the United States, will not jump on board unless they have the short-term effect and mm -hmm. draw into them. Oh, this isn't going to happen in the next four or five years? Oh, what's the big deal with it? 15 years until I get my money back? No way. I'm not investing in it. Well, it shouldn't be that way. Of course you want to invest for the long run because as much as you're investing in 15 years until you get your money back, you're, you're going you're gonna to start basically light the fire because everyone else, if the United States was to do it, trust me, everyone else would be on board and, and starting to try and develop the same idea. Sure. I think I, I think sense. we're pretty much on board with each other here that yes, this is it. the right way to go. We should be all working together. We should be more uh, thinking about other people and thinking about future generations yep. other than the uh, momentary gain that we could have right now. It's Look at us millennials thinking about other people. Who would have thought? Yeah. Who would have thought it? Who's not being selfish now? <laughs> people who are in charge of roadways, etc. cetera. Uh, what do you think of the idea of the solar roadways, particularly, well, it's, it's bikes right now, but uh, expanding that worldwide to uh, regular roadways with uh, cars and trucks and other uh, larger vehicles. Do you think we should have more solar roadways? Is, is there an alternate to that? Let us know below in the comments and please be sure to subscribe.